What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Evie's Clichés here. Uh, and, you know, it's been quite a long time, man. I, I, you know, I'm terribly sorry to most of you that have been expecting this video here. But, we're here again and actually, we got a Killmonger video finally out here. And I wanted to go ahead and welcome everybody new to this channel. And thank you for your patience on a lot of you that have been expecting some type of content. And, you know, despite that, I've been just streaming. Now, we'd be talking about Killmonger. You guys already know. Uh, mine is currently ranked 2 and I had to make this video, man. Because Killmonger, man, Killmonger is such a beast. Now... A lot of you may have been fortunate enough to pull them as a 6 star and congratulations to you. Others are even more fortunate and have been able to acquire this champion as a dupe. Others are currently just pulling them as a 5 star character and of course the arena for Killmonger for the 4 star basic champ is right around the corner and I'm here to teach you the ins and outs and what you should be expecting about a Killmonger. Now Killmonger, uh, quite the interesting champion, there's a lot about this champion, there's so much, so many great things that uh, one, one may not realize on top of the head when they look at the champion starting off, but let's go ahead and start with the the game description about this champion real fast before we get to the specifics and in the in the nice and juicy details and abilities that this champion has so real quick on top the description of this champion and we're gonna cover the undupe ver version first because that's the one that I currently have as a six star I do have a three star version that is dupe, but we'll get into that later. Um, the thing about Killmonger, first of all, he does not need to be duped, okay? Once again, Killmonger does not need to be duped to be amazing. The thing is, though, that being duped does help him quite a bit. Uh, just because of, uh, just think about it as more damage output, okay? He does get a boost of damage there. Now, starting off, um, we we do have his ability, uh, what's called reverberation. Reverberation, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's talk about the abilities. He, this guy has so much going for him. So, uh, starting off with a passive, this man has an additional critical resistance in its base at attributes. So, what that means is basically... Um, he doesn't get critted that often. Uh, on top of that, he does have an additional armor rating of 700, which is quite high, actually. So he gains 15% of his missing power each time a debuff is inflicted against him, which is quite interesting. On screen, I'm going to show you exactly what that means. At the beginning of the fight here, as you can tell, um, he starts off with what's called, in my in, in my case here, we got Suicide Masteries, and right there, boom, you get a nice, a juicy start of power. And um, when you're running uh, suicides with this champion, you can see how detrimental this could be in, in a fight. It helps you so much, especially, and I've been preaching this on my streams, especially if you want to run a Legends title. Um, of course, a lot of people that are running, Red Legends, uh, running for a Legends title will be going in there with suicide masteries and this little passive ability is quite great for those instances because you are already building up to that sp1 i'm going to teach you more about how to become uh, how killmonger can become the most op champion when it comes to a legends title but he's not the only one of course but not everybody gets to have a five star dupe blade at rank 555 so this is why i'm covering this part there's other options guys all right so going back to the uh, passive abilities um we do um we do suffer from uh, ability reduction to that passive if his armor is broken so if you're fighting against a medusa and she breaks your armor obviously you're not going to be able to have that armor up and you won't be able to uh go ahead and get that uh, power increase so there will be um that that will be something that you need to worry about but it, it, it does get reduced okay basically um which makes sense it makes sense so all attacks though uh hitting opponents that are recovering from the special attacks grant killmonger a true strike for 16 seconds now this makes killmonger such a great contender when it comes to labyrinth of legends now we know that um a lot of these champions have that little ability in lol where they randomly evade every uh, I think like it's like a 3% chance, uh, I think it's like 3 or 5% chance around that area. And I'm going to clear it up here on the screen. Um, but yeah, they do have about a certain percentage chance that evade. Actually feels a lot stronger than Black Widow's. It's kind of crazy. But they do evade for you and um, this just guarantees you not 
to be bs and evaded on lol runs um so basically whenever a champion is trying to recover from an sp1 sp2 you can go in and just go ahead and interrupt the re recovery and yeah basically you will gain a true strike um buff for 16 seconds which is quite long in my opinion and after that it should be good man uh critical hit of course um this champion does lacerate opponents with an 80 percent chance of inflicting about a thousand damage per bleed um for over 1.5 seconds which is pretty good um now that bleed does last longer the more deep wound um points you have on the mastery so take that in mind uh, so these bleeds are not the greatest but they do add up um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what <laughs> what the main the ultimate goal is about killmonger on long fights see what killmonger though the, the, the good thing is that killmonger is specially designed for quick fights okay and that's that's the thing about him he, however, has a bonus where he can do the long fight and be and reward you some outstanding damage, okay? Now, it does take him um, to be duped in order to increase that damage, but, I mean, everything that we're talking about in, in regards of damage and bleed, it, it does revolve around his awakened ability, but he doesn't need to have that ability awaken okay now let's go with the sp1 killmonger gains two counter punches which is quite important um, now two counter punch charges that last for about 50 seconds a charge is spent to shrug off the impact of any enemy attacks for 0.75 seconds um when killmonger is blocking it allows him to immediately counter attack because he does become uh i believe i want to say he becomes in um uh, unstoppable okay for that 0.75 seconds so once he becomes unstoppable you can go back in and counter now this is the key to let uh, to a legend title so whenever you find an opponent you will st you can start off with counter charges if you pair up killmonger as you can see on the screen here with black panther civil war now this ability this little synergy allows him to start with uh, uh, uh two counterpart uh, Two counter punch charges at the beginning and indestructible charges as well which is quite amazing trust me because um we're going to be moving on to the the sp2 and then we're going to explain what that does vibranium armor activates three indestructible charges now a charge is spent to ignore all incoming damage from an attack maximum of four so whenever you're fighting a champion that is automatically going to bs you with an sp3 these charges come in clutch and uh it's so beautiful because um i've gotten away with taking l3s from oh boy hyperion any power game champions um yeah basically anybody that doesn't do additional residual damage on sp3 uh just basically pays off really well just taking that damage on that sp or with that um indestructible charges it's great so whenever you start off the fight uh here with um with your boy killmonger on on three indestructible charges you just have to be very smart about not letting your champ your opponent touch you because every time he touches you that damage will be absorbed and an indestructible charge will be consumed now the more you keep fighting the better you'll get with this champion it does take not that much skill to master killmonger but you do need to be aware of what you're doing now again whenever you fight with killmonger at the beginning of the fight you go back to the passive ability and that every debuff that you do have inflicted on you will allow you to increase your power which will get you closer to your sp2 allowing you to get more indestructible charges now sp1 allows you to counter your opponent and on top of that in between one and two you will be gaining a couple of true strike charges or true strike buffs okay now finally and i think the most interesting ability that your boy killmonger has and it could it could be uh, uh sometimes i i have the uh, troubles having to really even use an sp3 because i have no need for it um it basically i'm gonna read you the description so if killmonger inflicts 15 or more bleed debuffs in this fight okay uh he inflicts a bleed stack for every bleed he inflicted so this bleed stack will be highlighted as a gray gray bleed node uh each bleed deals 1625 uh direct damage over six seconds now again guys this this damage will increase based on so this damage will increase 
based on a couple of factors uh, you have to think about crit you will have to think about what is your mastery setup uh, how much damage you're inflicting as far as deep wound if it's maximized and all that good stuff now uh, in this video here you are seeing that of course I have suicide masteries which does increase a lot of my damage um, by a certain percentage so you'll see that as well going on here on top of that i like i said previously i do have a certain um synergy going on at the moment where my bleeds do a certain extra percent damage now the thing with deep wounds however um you are going to be seeing a duration of uh the bleed at the end here so um you see in the gameplay here, um, you will actually see that and I will go ahead and try to slow down the clip for you guys. But at the moment, I'm uh, currently uh, fighting this Red Hulk obviously and I'm trying to stack up this bleed damage. Now, I'm going to be using this SP3. I did get a 20% boost on my 6 star which was quite quite, quite great. <laughs> and um, here you start noticing that I'm doing about 29k damage which is insane. Now, it does drop this champion for uh, about maybe 15 percent um now take in mind that this could have been a lot more intense um if if only if i would have uh, waited to get to assassin's range which i believe is going to be the most critical time for any long fight here whenever you get to assassin's range you will be doing a lot more damage than what you see here today now Take in mind that my Killmonger is not duped, so this damage will most likely be increased exponentially. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be a fun time, trust me. You guys will definitely enjoy um, your gameplay whenever it comes down to y your Killmonger. Alright guys, so lastly, I just want to cover a couple of additional things about Killmonger. So, Killmonger, um, if you haven't noticed by now, has interesting synergies uh, going on with him. Um, you have a combination of a couple of champions that will benefit him uh, depending on the situation. Now, here on this video, I'm going to show you a combination of Void and Killmonger together. This will allow Killmonger to purif purify a lot of the debuffs that do get inflicted on him um this uh, may benefit you at the beginning of fights so if you are using suicide masteries um if that's not the case then um you could also be having this combination whenever you're going into um uh, questing a w uh, you accidentally get hit by something it uh, you have a certain percentage of chance of purifying um it's not that high i believe it's about 30 something uh, but with the purify purification of the deep of you do get a regen it's a, also a certain percentage about five percent but hey it, it's something right <laughs> i'm not the most op um synergy that we have out there for uh, uh these champions but i think it's something quite unique and um i'm pretty sure you uh, saw that uh, clip there there's a couple of things that people don't know killmonger uh in alliance war defense can become quite a denuisance if you have suicide masteries on a corner of node now we know that there's a couple of nodes that uh kabam has added onto alliance war in order to counter blade and his stun bleed mechanic now with this being added onto the game these specific nodes you can also think about killmonger being placed there on defense with suicide masteries allowing him to start with uh, you know debuffs that will eventually aid him to become or actually get that sp3 as soon as possible um this is more of a trial and error something that i wanted to throw out there um, that i've received input from a couple of alliances that i've been with uh, a couple of people that i talked to um so it was quite interesting i haven't tried it myself but i think it's something that would really be um interesting now if you guys have any additional inputs about uh killmonger any additional questions anything you that you think i might have missed uh because there are a couple of things i did not mention like the, the fact that uh on rogue you do have um you know class advantage uh, the extra attack boost that you do get from the synergies that i combined with black panther and hawkeye you know, a lot of those things there now 
if you have any additional questions any concerns any anything that i did not cover let me know in the comment section below and uh just wanted to give a special shout out to my boy dread uh who is dread yeah of course um he's a great freaking rapper dude you guys um need to check out his music his uh soundcloud he's been allowing us to um use his music on our live streams uh he's an upcoming uh, artist man he is actually he's not upcoming he's already a freaking great artist but anyways guys uh check him out link will be provided for you below um uh once again i thanks everybody for all your support your constant support on streams uh the donations uh you know people that have been subbing man you guys are awesome man i know that i have not been consistent and that is one of my flaws i do have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life but you know i've been i've been persuaded and pushed uh and motivated to get this video out there for you guys i know that um the killmonger arena is over with <laughs> even though i mentioned it earlier that uh it's something around the corner but uh, of course this this video is supposed to come out a long time ago um so thank you so much guys um i appreciate uh, everything that you guys are doing for me and uh, lastly huge huge shout out to my girl fakia um you also kept me kept me straight for for a while there appreciate you uh anyways um you guys take care um i'm gonna keep trying to make these videos um <laughs> i owe my boy hector a uh, a how to uh how to agent venom now that's, that's gonna be coming out soon there are a couple of things that i do have planned for the channel uh, i'm working on a promotion at work so that's kind of something that's keeping me up as well but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video um thank you so much for your um your attention here and uh staying here for this long video hope everybody has a great day and i'll see you on the next one